everybody and welcome it's Tia from Nailed It Hawaii I know it's been a super long time since I've made a video and I apologize for that I've been kind of busy but so today I'm going to be making a soap this is a brand new fragrance that I have never used before I'm going to try and make a mint chocolate chip type soap so I do already have my hot um, lye water melting down my solid oils and butters that should probably take a couple of minutes to completely melt down. I do have here my liquid oils with a little bit of green. But I do have here my liquid oils. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in the kaolin clay and colloidal oatmeal to this one. So I'm going to blend this one and then as soon as all of this is melted down, I'm going to combine the two and then I'm going to stick blend it. Okay, so everything is mixed up and emulsified, so I'm going to go ahead and separate just a little bit off. I'm just going to be doing two colors today. I'm going to do, it's going to be mint chocolate chip soap, so we're going to do a little brown layer. And then the rest is going to be green. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the brown first. No, just kidding. I'm going to work on the green. So I do have some green mixed up here. I kind of want a more minty color, so I'm just going to put a little bit that then a little bit titanium dioxide and then I'm going to mix this see what we get and if I need to I'm going to add more of that mint green in okay so that color is ready and then in this smaller container I'm going to go ahead and add in my brown colorant the fragrance oil does have a little bit of vanilla, so I am expecting some discoloration. Okay, so there's my two colors, and I'm going to go ahead and add in some of the fragrance oil to my brown, and then I'm just going to get that poured in. Okay, it looks like my brown is ready so I'm gonna grab my mold and I'm just gonna pour in all of the brown right now I'm not gonna be saving any of the brown for the top so that's going in Okay, so all of the brown is in, so I'm just going to set this off to the side, and then we're going to work on the green layer. Okay, so I'm going to add my fragrance oil into this one now. Gonna give it a little mix. I'm gonna mix it up with a spatula first and then I'm just gonna hit it with the stick blender real quick. It's um the batter's accelerating just a little bit, so I don't wanna make it accelerate any more than it than it I have to. So that's in. I'm just gonna hit it with the stick blender now. Okay, so I believe I'm ready for the next step, and I'm going to be adding in I do have some brown um, soap shavings, so I'm going to go and add that in. That's kind of going to look like the um, chocolate chips. I'm just going to add them. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to use all of the shavings that I have. I'm just going to mix this up and see how that looks and decide from there.
I don't know about you guys, but mint chocolate chip is one of my favorite ice cream flavors. So when I got in this fragrance oil, I was super excited and just really wanted to make a soap that was reminiscent of that type of ice cream. So that's why I'm making the little chocolate chip looking soap shavings. Alrighty, I think that is good. I don't want it completely just all up in there, but I do want some to show up when I'm cutting the soap, so I'm hoping that's enough. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in now. Okay, so I've got my mold. And I think the brown has settled enough that I don't have to worry about breaking through. But I'm just going to use my spatula just in case. Okay. I'm going to get all of this in there now. And I'm actually not going to bang down the mold because I kind of like the drippy look that's going on. I think it matches the overall um, look that we're going for with this soap. I'm just scraping out my container now, making sure I get all of the soap out. Okay, so I'm just going to shake it a little just to kind of even it out. But I'm going to leave all of that texture on the top. And now I'm going to finish it off. I have some finer uh, grain, I guess, soap shavings. So these are smaller than the last ones that I used. And I'm not going to use a whole lot for this part. I think I'm just going to put a few here and there. to kind of give the overall effect. And I've really been debating on with this soap if I wanted to put glitter on it, and I'm thinking no, just because it's kind of more of a foody soap. Okay, and I think that is it, so I'm not going to be putting glitter on this, so I'm just gonna kind of tap in the chocolate chip soap top parts so that I know some are going to come off when I cut it but I'm hoping some will stick in there. I'm just going to give that a little tap. <clears throat> and yeah, that is it. We are all set with this mint chocolate chip soap. I will bring you guys back tomorrow for the cut. Here is a close up of the mint chocolate chip soap and we will be back tomorrow to cut it so I will see you guys then. Alrighty, bye bye. Hello everybody and welcome back. So I'm back today to cut this uh, mint chocolate chip soup. I apologize if you can hear the rain. Um, we're kind of in the middle of, or not in the middle of, but we have a hurricane coming. So just hoping for the best with that. But I'm just going to go ahead and get this soap cut for you guys real quick. And with this one, I'm going to turn it on its side to cut it. Just because um, of those little... Uh, shreds on the top. I don't want that to cut through the soap, so I'm going to turn on its side to avoid that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get started. There's our mint chocolate chip soap. It's still a little sticky because it's been raining a lot, so the humidity is really high, so it's not giving the soap a chance to dry out yet. But I'm really, really liking how the it looks like chocolate chips in there. I actually think this came out really cute. So there we go, there is the mint chocolate chip soap. 
I love how this one turned out. I think it looks really, really, really cute. Um, it does have, the fragrance oil does have vanillin in it, so it may discolor. I'm anxious to see whether or not it does. But yeah, other than that, I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time.